from the KATC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, it looks like we're going to be dealing with this type of a pattern over the next several days. In fact, for the better part of the week, 10 days where we see an upper level trough. It's actually a pretty big trough across the US and we're seeing disturbances drop on the backside of that uh, upper level trough interacting with a boundary that has been setting up across the Gulf Coast and it spells soaking rains and maybe in some cases flooding rains, especially back toward Texas. We'll get to that in just a bit. But meanwhile, as we take a look at what what happened during the course of the day today? We saw showers and storms across the region, just a lot of debris clouds now. And as we scan the regional Doppler radars, now we're looking at all the National Weather Service radars. In addition to uh, Power Doppler 3 here, we're still seeing some pretty hefty rains across Texas. But notice you see the lightning is diminished and just uh, plenty of moisture across East Texas. And this is sliding eastward. So we still have an atmosphere that is plenty juiced. This atmosphere that's in Texas is going to be moving over out. Our atmosphere overnight tonight and as the upper atmosphere cools right around three, four o'clock in the morning, I would expect some scattered showers and some thunderstorms to develop prior to daybreak. So keep that in mind. We're carrying rain chances overnight hours, which we normally don't do in a typical summer scenario. Locally here in Acadiana, seeing a few showers down by the coast. You can see this uh, latest thunderstorm complex firing up but weakening at this hour. But the bottom line will probably stay wet in the tropics. Tropical waves out here in the Atlantic Basin. None showing any promise for right now, but the wave that's over the Yucatan showing some promise for development in the National Hurricane Center, upping its odds to development to a medium level where a tropical low could develop in the Bay of Campeche tomorrow, maybe into Saturday. But this system is going to be moving inland Saturday night, we think in northeastern Mexico, and that's where the heaviest rains will go, maybe into the lower Rio Grande Valley of Texas as well. And we see that uh, on our latest tropical models and spaghetti plots. Yep, it's that time of year where we whip these things out uh, and you'll see these more and more in the weeks ahead. So here's the moisture moving toward Mexico on the European model. We see that moving in. Notice lots of red across the Gulf Coast. You can see it's just going to be a wet period from Texas through Louisiana and uh, the other states along the Gulf Coast and then maybe some deeper tropical moisture moving into the Gulf eight to ten days down the road. Here's the latest GFS model showing much the same. Some of that moisture gets into our part of the world and plenty of moisture around through next week and then uh, something might be up in the Gulf of Mexico where we see a real big slug of tropical moisture. This looks like it's going to be heading toward uh, much of the Gulf Coast and this is uh, we're talking 10 to about 12 days down the road. But the bottom line, we do not see an end, a real end to this wet pattern anytime soon. We may have to wait for that first fall cool front. So showers and storms developing as we get into the early morning hours and then activity into the afternoon, but not as much. Uh, so I've lowered the rain chances a little bit tomorrow as compared to what we were going earlier today. Saturday, it looks like we'll be, have a better chance of soaking showers and storms. Bottom line, rain chances 60% are better going into the weekend. As for rainfall, I'll expect an inch or two and some spots are going to see more than that uh, depending how the storms form up and uh, if we look at the next 10 days it's kind of wet across the area in some spots you can double the amounts that we're showing right here and then you get back toward Texas and it looks like flooding rains possible a foot or more possible in the Texas Hill Country but one model run we'll see how it plays out in the next week to 10 days so showers and a few storms uh, across the area through the overnight hours and then much the same tomorrow especially early in the Today. You see uh, our true view model showing uh, best rain chances. It looks like in the morning uh, through the mid afternoon hours. Will we see a little sun in the afternoon? Possibly, but clouds dominating and we'll see temperatures topping out in the mid 80s. Thanks to the cloud cover rain chances 60 70% or better over the next week to 10 days with not much of an exception there and not much of a relief in sight. At least most daytime highs 90 or below mm -hmm. yeah. and that's the most important. We'll it feels a little better. Good out there too. Tonight too. Yeah, it does. Not bad at all. Thank you, Rob. Thanks, Rob.